First Peter 1, verse 13, says something a bit surprising. He says, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. We usually think of grace as something we have already been given. But here, Peter says that grace is something that will come to us when Christ returns. Now, Peter is not denying that we already have grace in Jesus. He's just saying that there is more to come. The grace we have been given now is a foretaste or a down payment, guaranteeing the grace that will come in the future. For example, we are forgiven now, and we will be forgiven at the last judgment too. The verdict has already been given to us in advance, but it is regarding the future. A contemporary illustration might be when somebody is given a job, uh, for example, teaching in a school. The person in charge might say, congratulations, you are hired. You will begin on August 9. Even though August 9 may be several months away, you have nevertheless been hired. You can say that you have a job, even if you aren't working at it right now. Similarly, we can say that we have been forgiven. It's referring to the last judgment when Christ returns, but it is also experienced now. It's as good as done because God has told us so and God keeps his word. We are forgiven even before the judgment actually happens. Now, God's grace involves much more than forgiveness. He, he doesn't just bring us up from debt up to zero while we are still penniless. No, he adds much more than forgiveness. The Greek word means, uh, the, the grace means gift, and we have already been given spiritual gifts, but we will be given much, much more in the future. Bodies will be healed. Minds will be healed. We'll have supernatural powers like Jesus did after his resurrection. We don't even know all the powers and blessings that will be given to us after Christ returns. So Peter says we should set our hope on this future grace. And in the meantime, in that hope, we should be alert and sober. As he says in verses 15 and 16, just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. We are supposed to be like God is because in the future, we will have a life like God has. <laughs>